Okay, assignment number three is called the rule of thirds as we teach you the basics of photography with your mobile device. Okay, for this one, you need to either pretend there are imaginary lines that, that divide your screen into thirds, or in this case, we can just go and turn them on. And photographers have been using this rule ever since basically photography started because it makes your photos look that much better. Uh, you can always tell an amateur photo because they ignore the rule of thirds. Okay, that's, that's nothing screams newbie like ignoring the rule of thirds as far as I'm concerned and most photographers out there, most people. You know, when you line up 10 photos and say, which ones do you like? They'll always point out the ones that are obeying the rule of thirds. We do break it and in the next lesson we will actually break the rule of thirds, but for the most part, follow it. Okay, so let's, let's turn on the grid pattern because if I open up the camera right now, I just have the camera, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open up settings uh, I'm going to scroll to camera right there, camera, and under composition it says uh, grid, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn that on. Okay. So then now when I open up the camera, I now have the grid pattern. I have the rule of thirds. Okay. This is how the rule of thirds work. If we're taking a picture of something that has a front and a back to it, obviously like the Angry Bird has a front, you know, a front and a back, you will want to place whatever you're taking a photo of, uh, I'm, I'm just putting them straight at the camera right now. You want to put the interesting things, okay, at where those intersections are, okay? Those intersections of that. So if the Angry Bird is way over there, I kind of want to put his face right there, right there at that intersection right there of those lines and, and take that photo. So that's what we're, we, we end up with is this now. All this empty space over here actually is what makes the photograph interesting, okay? Um, a lot of times, newbies will just, they, they center everything. They just put them just right there in the middle. And uh, let me just go with Mike here. Mike is a good example of that. Um, so they get, they get the person and they center them. And, and it, just, it just is centered. It's very boring, okay? You got, you got all this, we call this head space up here. And that's, uh, that's just wasted as far as, you know, we've got an un uninteresting chair and stuff like that. So the rule of thirds is you put what's interesting on those, those cross points in there, okay. And then if it has a front to it, you will want to have the front facing the empty area here. So that's obviously the front of the robot and it's facing this empty area. So let me just move the Angry Bird out of the shot here, Mike out of the shot. So, okay, so I put the robot, I don't cut anything off the robot, and I take a nice shot with it in, on the intersection here. I'm basically, he's on this line right here. If I was to take it the opposite way, move him to the other side, it would look awkward. Let me show you those two photos. Okay, there it is looking awkward where he's facing off the page here, off the, off the iPad, and that's not right. So you want your object, if it has a front to it, to face the open area. Okay, let's try it now with the Angry Bird to say if we really understand this rule of thirds. Okay, so there's the angry bird. He's facing one direction and, oh, let's have him face the other direction. So then, so there, see, I, I move him over to this side and let's just, and the eyes always go on that top line. So if I take a photo here, boom. If I take a photo here, I, he, the eyes are on that top line at that intersection. If I take a photo way over here, eyes are on the top line of that intersection and I have him facing towards this open area here. If I go extreme close up, look at this, I put the eyes still, let me just wait, wait for him to focus, on that intersection right there, right between his eyes, that intersection. Now let's take a look at what those photos look like, how interesting they are because you've got it shifted over to one side and it always looks interesting when you have an empty space there and you're following the rule of thirds, okay? So for this assignment, I want you to give me three, three photos that follow the rule of thirds. So you just pick some objects and you just shift them to one side or the other, make sure that they're facing into the open area. The plant is a prime example of something that has no front to it. So if you take a picture of the plant, you can just put them on one side. There you are, plant. And I'm gonna to tap to focus because it's having a hard time understanding what I want to focus on. But I learned tap to focus and there it is, okay. so. It's got that um, focused right there. So, all right, so there we go. That's your assignment. Give me three photos that show that you understand the rule of thirds.